Welcome to the Ministry's Paintbrush. Today we're going to talk about how I paint in sub-assemblies. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about sub-assemblies and I love this process. And the first thing you need to consider is to, you got to look at your instruction manual and see what pieces you could actually put together that won't obstruct your paintbrush when you're actually painting the miniature. This is why I love sub-assemblies. If you put the miniature up together completely, you're not really going to reach all the areas of the miniature, which drives me insane. So I'm building sub-assemblies, which solves the problem. Uh, here is a lot of sub-assemblies. Actually, this model is that Space Terminator Captain that I did in the last painting tutorial. And I'll show you how I did it. First, I use nails. That's right. My miniatures are tough as nails, so I use nails. And I use the nails on cork uh, and I actually insert it into the cork to attach the miniature piece or small pieces too. And I use that for the smallest possible pieces. I take the cork and I actually hot glue it down to the tops of uh, sneaker boxes in which I uh, cut open and I just place on and hot glue it to that because it adds stability to the model. And I've been known to be very, very clumsy and I knock over cork. Uh, very, very easily. So to add stability definitely works to my benefit. Now let's talk about the poster tack in which I use. Now I love Loctite Fun Tack. For me, it has the, it's the most tacky and it actually holds the miniatures pieces better than anything I've ever used before. Now if you have a, a poster tack that's your favorite, put it in the description below and we'll talk about, you know, trying to possibly uh, showing it on the air and see if I can use it and I'll test it out to make sure if it's cool or not. Um, but yeah, definitely your suggestions are more than welcome. So if you look at the attachment or how I attach these things, uh, I take the um, poster tag and I put it on the top of the nail and this way I form a bubble. Uh, I take that bubble and I use it to, to actually attach the miniature pieces onto said bubble so this way I can work on each piece individually. Some of them, like this cape, I need to be more inventive. I used several nails uh, just so I can get that flat surface that I can work with and it's just so much easier. And then I remove it and then I'll do the other side no problem. Okay. All right, next up, um, my good old uh, pill bottles, which I filled with sand. And this is my go-to when it comes to putting miniatures. Um, but yeah, you see even swords. Now swords in itself, uh, I use, I'm gonna use uh, some silly putty in order to mask that in. And you know, putting the silly putty on the cork uh, base and putting it on the, on the miniature, it's not a problem even with this tackiness. But you see, all these sub-assemblies are for one miniature. And I start off with this piece right here, uh, the pill bottle, and then I build upon that. That's usually the base structure. And the other pieces go on that as I paint it. Now, if you look back at the tutorial link up here, uh, you'll see it all come together. Uh, and also, I put another one on the base for a sub-assembly as well. So now you can use sub-assemblies on all different kinds of bills, from small to large. I've done Shade Spire, uh, which is only like two pieces. Here's one piece, and then the base will be another piece. Uh, I've done several at a time, like a unit, and each one I keep separately. Uh, as long as you keep each unit separate, uh, you won't confuse the pieces. But yeah, I've done batch painting that way. Uh, I've done all different kinds of sub-assemblies. It's my workflow. It's what works for me. And hopefully it'll work for you. This one is a picture of my largest. Well, I hope you like this tip. Well, there it is. I paint in sub-assemblies because I can get to places where I wouldn't be able to get to if I assemble the pieces all together. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. And if you did, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time on the Miniatures Paintbrush.